Hey everyone, this is Andrew here with Green Power Energy, and today I'm going to talk about some of the things that are coming along the line for Connecticut Solar. Connecticut Solar has been very successful with the RSIP program, and unfortunately that's almost at full capacity, so that's going to be coming to an end, and in its place is going to be a new program starting on January 1st, 2022. Now, Connecticut has aggressive goals for renewable energy adoption, and their goal is to be a 0% carbon state by 2040. And solar is set to play a big part in that, and the incentives that are coming down the line are going to encourage that growth for years to come. First of all, net metering is not going anywhere. People are still going to be able to get credit on their bills for the excess energy that their systems produce. A little bit different now is that there's going to be no annual true update on that. So in the past, there was one date where any excess or anything under, you would have to true up with the utility company and then you start again for another 12 months. Going forward, this is going to roll over indefinitely, which is actually really good because you would have to be very specific about choosing that date of interconnection for a true up and usually it would be around March and hopefully you didn't have any overage that would get cut off. So with this program, it continues indefinitely, which is nice. And also that credit is seen as a dollar amount on the bill rather than a kilowatt hour amount. So that's a very good program. And that's probably what people are going to adopt if they're doing energy storage. Now, Connecticut also has very ambitious goals for energy storage, and they're set to be one of the leaders, if not the leader in the country for adding batteries to solar projects. And their goal is to deploy 1000 megawatts of storage by 2030. And those that are doing batteries with their system will likely use the net metering program, which is coming starting January 1st. The other program that is starting also on January 1st is going to be the buy all, sell all tariff. And how that works is all the energy that's produced by the solar array will be sold to, sold to the grid at a fixed price for 20 years beyond the current utility rate. So this is a great program too, which can create a lot of extra money and good positive cash flow for people that adopt solar and will help continue its growth long term, but it's probably not going to be the program that's going to work with batteries since all the power from that system will go right to the grid and there won't be an option for it to go to batteries. So all in all, the RSIP, the program that's in place right now has been very successful and we feel that these current programs are going to continue that growth tra trajectory and that solar is gonna play a major role in Connecticut being a zero carbon state by 2040. So please contact Green Power Energy today and we can find which new program is going to be right for your home and whether or not adding storage to your project makes sense. If you like this video and want to stay up to date on solar incentives for Connecticut or other states in the region, hit the subscribe button and follow our channel for more. For Green Power Energy, this is Andrew Contrino. Thank you.